I am so full from the conversation that we've just engaged in, one in which we were asking the appropriate questions and knowing that is in our own search in our own imagination what the answers to those questions might be, knowing that in any situation that one question and the resolution of that question always brings us to another question. And for you to be here at this particular moment and, and witness this dialect is important and critical for all of us, for this community. But as we build a consensus around reparation around this country, and at the same time, orchestrate in the most profound way the questions and dialogue and keep pushing that dialogue further and further to the next stage of our process of deliberation as well. And so I sat here thinking about this question. I kept bringing to mind, what kept coming to my mind was my great grandmother, Mae Huntley, who was born in 1858. Uh, and certainly not simply free, not free by the emancipation and the horror of post-Civil War, the post-Civil War South. It also was not even to have her first child that she raised until 1892. So she's born in 1858. She has her first child, my grandfather, in 1892. So there's a period of her life lost in the transition post-Civil War and lost in this country's history. She died at a very reasonable age of 97 years old. I had a chance to be around her from the moment that my mother decided that having three kids in 35 months was a quite a task. So she left, she, she put, put us on a train to spend my first two years with my maternal grandparents and on that farm with my grandfather's mother. And I think about her and think about what this conversation means in the broader context of justice, the justice that we define and that we keep in search of, and how the, this moment presents us with an extraordinary opportunity to, to push forward. This small, rather small gathering, which is representative of a national discourse of a national desire to know the truth. Dr. King often called, often just talked about the idea of the truth. As he quoted Carlisle, no lie lasts forever. And we, in our search and our deliberation and our action around the issue of reparatory justice, we uncover that lie. And where the, whether that is for other generations, younger generations, to contain and, and continue the struggle. Those of us who were in, went to school in the 1960s, in the college in the 1960s, found as our anthem a school of black studies or a school of ethnic studies, of finding ways in which to tell the truth I remember at San Francisco State College, my alma mater,